Alright guys, in my last two videos I showed you guys how to get into H-Boot and stock recovery and I showed you guys how to unlock the bootloader on this device so if you haven't seen those videos please go check them out um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery along with uh, make your first Nandroid backup on this device that you can restore then at any point uh, to restore your phone so first thing we're going to do is let me just show you really quick what I'm running on this thing this is running software version there we are uh, Android version 2.3.4 which is gingerbread and we're running right now software number 4.08.605.19 should be the most uh, up-to-date version on that also. Um, so anyway, this is the, uh, like I say, the uh, HTC Droid Incredible. And let's go ahead and go into H-Boot mode. Prove that we have an unlocked bootloader because that is required to do this step. And then uh, go ahead and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what we're going to do is take the back cover off. If I can get it off. Pull the battery off. Battery out, battery in, hold volume down on the side, and hold power. And voila, that is H boot mode. Okay, so can you see that right there on top in pink? It says unlocked. Okay, so to do the steps that I'm going to show you guys how to do, your device has to be unlocked. That's the only way to do these steps. If you are not unlocked, this will not function. So what we're going to do is you make sure you have your drivers installed. I'm going to give you links to that. Make sure you have your ADB files and stuff like that and uh, set up. And I'm going to give you links to that and show you guys how to do that. Uh, so what we're going to do right there, the first thing says Fastboot. We're going to go ahead and it's highlighted in blue right there. And we're going to go ahead and hit Power on the device. And that's going to put us in Fastboot mode. And we're going to go ahead and plug this thing into our computer with a USB cord. Voila. And plug it in. And go ahead and set this thing down. So let's go check the computer. So on the computer guys, you're going to need to have your ADB stuff and fastboot stuff set up here. I've got a uh, folder with all of mine set up in them. It's under C drive ADB. Uh, you'll notice how I did this again from the last video. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys these files again in a zip. You just download the zip, extract the four files, place them in a file called ADB. That's what I like to do. And you've got them all right here. So uh, first thing you're going to do is you've got this you've got your drivers installed everything's functioning you're going to hold shift in this window and right click and then open command window here and it's going to open up this window right here so at this point first thing i like to do is go ahead and make sure that your computer sees your device and to do that you type in fastboot devices hit enter and it comes back with a number and says fastboot. That means that your computer is seeing your device in fastboot mode. Um, that means any commands you give it with fastboot are now going to function correctly. So let's go back to this window right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to download a file that is a clockwork mod recovery image. Again, leaked in the video description. I'm going to pull mine from my own file sources here. It's under incredible... Then this file, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put it over here, paste into our ADB folder. Okay. Then what I like to do is go ahead and rename, just because it's easier then, and rename this to just, whoops, recovery. Okay. So it's called recovery, and it's an image file, IMG. All right. So then we can pull back up our command window right here. And we can type in the command to flash this recovery system to our device, our unlocked bootloader device. So we're going to type in fastboot, if I can spell it correctly, fastboot, flash, space, recovery, 
space recovery dot img which is the name of the file so fastboot is the command flashes or fastboot is what we're doing it with the interface or whatever you want to call it flash is what we're telling it to do recovery is what we're telling it to flash and recovery dot image is the name of the file we're flashing just so I can kind of break that down so at this point you just hit enter and it sends it it writes it and it's finished pretty simple let me bring up the device and show you what we got okay so right here we just went ahead and did all those steps um, everything's finished successfully so we can go ahead and unplug our cable you can close command window in the background do all that good stuff it's pretty much done from here so if we want to get into clockwork mod recovery now the way you do it is right now it says bootloader because it's highlighted in bootloader because you're still in fast boot mode up here in red so it says bootloader so just hit the top power button and that's going to bring you back to your main options right here which is fast boot recovery clear storage all those goodies and you're going to scroll down well it's going to check right there for an update it's normal so scroll down to where it says recovery now recovery is highlighted hit power scrolling up and down is with your volume keys up and down hit power and now this would normally boot you into stock Android recovery like I said if you watched my last two videos this explains that exact situation um, but because we have clockwork monitor recovery installed now it's going to boot into clockwork monitor recovery shabam okay very very cool very very slick um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do an Android backup so this recovery from here you can flash custom ROMs you can do all kinds of goodies with this device but the first thing you want to do before you do anything is do an Android backup and it backs up your system exactly how it is right now. So to do that we're going to go down to backup and restore and you actually select things with the little trackball on the bottom. So you can select, you can scroll with it and select with it or you can scroll with the volume but you got to select with the little trackball. So we're going to go to backup and restore, select the trackball and then the top one is backup and select it. And it's going to go ahead and run a backup on your for your device. So very, very slick, very cool, liking it a lot. We're going to let this run, reboot the device, and uh, that's it. I mean, pretty much when it comes to when it's done running, it'll be an option on the top. It says reboot device, a so reboot device, and you will have an Android backup. So if you ever mess your device up for whatever reason, um, you will be good to go, and you can restore it, and it'll restore everything. Passwords, apps, everything. Everything gets restored with an Android backup. It'll be exactly how it was when you made the backup, so which is very, very, very nice and a uh, real cool feature to have. Um, so that's it, guys. I'm not going to go very much farther with this. Like I said, when it's done running the, re the backup, you're good to go. Also, make sure you have plenty of battery life before you start a backup or flashing recovery image like I just did. Battery life is super important on these devices. You do not want to lose battery while it's doing any of these steps um, and uh, that's pretty much it so I hope you guys like this on how to install clockwork mod recovery on the droid incredible uh, as always please check me out right up here at uh, rootjunkie.com follow me right over there at Facebook or Twitter and I uh, hope you guys like it like I said when it's done here just go ahead and hit reboot system and you'll be back up and running if you ever need to get back into clockwork mod recovery go into hboot and then uh, hit recovery and you'll be back there. So you'll be good to go. We'll catch you guys next time.